Hey, this is Scott Smith at Kime Chevrolet, and today I'm going to give you my review of the 2013 Chevy Sonic. The Chevy Sonic is actually a very aggressive and youthful look for Chevrolet and it's due mainly to the motorcycle inspired headlamps. This Sonic is equipped with 1.8 liter engine. You also have the option to go with 1.4 liter turbo and get a little bit better fuel economy. Another neat feature with this vehicle is it does have the remote start right on the key fob. So all you got to do to use this is you lock it, it will beep, and then you hold down the little circle and the car just started on its own. Really nice for the winter time or those really hot summer days. Inside the Chevy Sonic, we'll start here on the door, you have all four window controls, you have your rear window lock if you have children, you have your power mirror on controls for left and right and that's just simple turn to the direction of the mirror that you want and then you just adjust it like so all right on your mirrors you do have your blind spot mirror that's that little circle that you're seeing right there and what that does is that helps you find vehicles or objects that are in your blind spot of the vehicle Come, moving right down here you have your lights we have it set to automatic and what that means is this little bubble that you see right there on the dash that little bubble will determine whether it's dark enough to require your lights being on. And then of course in the daytime it will make sure that your lights are off. You could also manually turn the lights on by just turning that to the on position. On your steering wheel, you have your cruise controls. You also have your Bluetooth and radio controls right there. Let's go ahead and start the vehicle and see what happens. So. Here we go. You have your MyLink radio in this model. And if we look here at your instrument panel, this is actually also motorcycle inspired, very much like the headlamps. You have your large tachometer on this side. Here you have a digital speedometer control and then of course a digital gas meet, uh, level. All right. Up here you're going to see that is your average speed, miles per hour, and we can actually scroll through to see what that brings up. That's how much distance you have based on the fuel economy that you've been getting in the vehicle till you need to fill up gas again. It says 114 miles, but that is also only based on a 13.6 mile per gallon fuel economy. Now, the reason for that is it is a new car and it has not been on any long road trips. It's just been moved from one location to another on the lot. All right, moving right along, you have your trip timer and then back to your average speed. If we hit this, it brings up this little display down here. And what that is, if we can zoom in on it, that is your oil life. It's saying that we have 98% oil life. When that gets down to 20 to 30%, you definitely want to schedule uh, to have it serviced and have that oil changed. Here, this is the tire learn. If we hold down the end button here, what that does is it'll honk twice. And that sets the levels of the tires that if they do get low it will put up a signal and inform us. Now of course you have your language set and unit set and then back to oil life. So that's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Alright, your horn of course is right in the center and you have this three spoke steering wheel which is really kind of nice because you can grab down here or you can grab up here and steer. Okay, as with most Chevy vehicles you do get your OnStar standard. This radio is actually app inspired so you can smart link your phone and it is touch screen and it brings up all the different apps that are available. As long as you have that on your smartphone they will show up there in bright colors and you will be able to stream Pandora or Stitcher or tune in right directly to your radio via your smartphone. Uh, it also has this really neat Bringo app 
And what that is, is that's a GPS that is used through the data service on your phone and it provides you with in-dash GPS. Really great. All right, of course, with your Bluetooth, you do have your hands-free calling and if you have your phone synced as I have mine, it will show up right here and you can actually go through all your contacts. All right, if we select the audio, that's gonna bring us to our radio. This does come with three months of free XM radio. The other nice feature about this is if we go over here to the above glove box, this has two, it has lower one right down here, and then right here it has an upper one. Now you can actually plug your phone directly in there, or you can plug it in via the 3.5 millimeter uh, adapter plug uh, and charge your phone or play streaming music right from your phone if it's not Bluetooth capable. Or you could actually take one of these little jump drives and plug that in and it will automatically load that on there and we can play music off of a portable thumb drive. Okay, and of course you have your volume controls here as well as right here. Really, really neat features on this vehicle. And then of course, the you put it off, you just unplug it and it goes back to your AM or FM. Okay, down here we have your power locks. You have your four ways. You have your climate control. This selects your coldness or warmth. Okay, you can choose to have air conditioning on and off. Of course, you have your blower speed, and then you also have where you want the blowers to be activated. Okay, here you have your shifter, and you do have a manual option on this, and that's with these buttons right here on the side. You just take the car, put it into the manual position, which is right down here, and then that gives you the capability to manually shift through your gears. And you'll see the M, and it'll change as I'm pushing that. Okay, here we have our child locks, right there. You have a 12 volt power adapter. You have your traction control, which is always on unless you turn it off, and if you do turn it off, you'll actually see the little light pop on right there. All right, and then we do have our cup holders with little supports. You have your e-brake, which is right there, and then you have a cup holder for the back seat. Now the driver's seat in this vehicle does have an armrest that folds down right there, and then of course it does fold up as well. So all in all, this car is actually a very, very great car. Lots of space inside, perfect for the younger person or younger couple, um, even with a small family. Uh, plenty of room in this car for you know a family with one or two children. Um, excellent fuel economy. This one here with the 1.8 liter engine averages about 28 miles to a gallon. But when we do go to the 1.4 liter turbo, you get a little bit more spunk in the car, but you also get about 30 miles average per gallon. Really really fuel efficient car. Um, when you're on the highway you're pushing 40 miles to a gallon and of course city you're getting right around 25, 26 miles to a gallon. Uh, but all in all I give this car two thumbs up. Really great, fun to drive, has a very nice sport tuned transmission. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, sport tuned suspension um, and the transmission is not lacking either. When you uh, get on the gas it does accelerate and pushes you back into your seat which is really great. Uh, like I said before, there is plenty of room. It is very app friendly. So if you have a smartphone, this car is meant and designed for that uh, smartphone. Uh, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my review. And with two thumbs up, I will end it this way. This is Scott from Time Chevrolet in Paradise, letting you know that all the best deals are made in Paradise. Thank you, and watch again.